food has now become a proper celebration. As more victories recorded on daily basis, more and more victories, I must say. Intentional victories have been recorded so many days. And uh, without doubt, I can say that the United Nations must do the needful to help cop some strategy that the zoo wants to use. And that is just the gameplay. We must continue to spread this homicide force. So tell the world what is going on in Biafran land because we are the ones that will tell our story. You say unless the lion learns how to speak. His hunting will always glorify the hunter. Yes. The hunter will always be glorified. Because the only way we can actually take this spiritual entrance is by knowing that we are not made from dust. But at the same time, we cannot prolong the strategy of what it is. And the, the most annoying part is that we must Condemn whatever the strategy may be. And that is the periodic way of spreading these forces. And so doing, we can understand this whole situation room of what it is. And as we strive to this final point and this final position, We must understand that the game is now changing and everything is becoming more <clears throat> reassured, not to waste about it. Victory must be spread till it gets to the final point where we can now tell ourselves this very truth. No leave. No transfer. We have come to realize that even the United Nations can no longer stop what is of us. Because if they try to stop it, they will see nothing but fire. We understand their system, but their system cannot be underrated. Because at the same time, we are victoriously fast. Biafran territory is succeeding. So much force, so much resistance, so much engagement. I told you all that the last thing that will happen to the zoo Is Biafra. They will see it and they cannot do anything about it. We're already in June already, heading to more reluctant post where everybody will see the lights that wish we spread all along. There's a big forge 
and this forge must be exempted. We must say it piece by piece. Lowness by lowness. Everything is redefined the way it should be. And that's where the gospel will begin from. I must say the way I will say it. And those who honorably seek this very restoration must understand that the time is near. Very near. Be afraid to see what they ought to see. Now, listen attentively. I must say these things the way they are because in Biafra land we are not cowards. We are not cowards. We don't run cowardic points. That's what makes more sense to us. Getting along with futuristic energies and tapping from those steps in which we ought to tap. This is just the beginning. Brighter future, more resistance. Now that the Biafran are now facing our enemies back to back, we must say this, that the point is becoming clear to every one of them who is understanding what must be understood. That's the very beginning. So as we push through these waves to duly position ourselves, we can gladly now say that this very resistance nature that the Biafras has forged is finally helping us. Almost heal Biafra, the land of the rising sun. We say, I'm going to see Kenya go to go by Naga, Magane by Naga, Telezi Baka, when a little E5 for long by Naga knows a Gamana, a buys a local. And if I do not buy an ass on Yoko, okay, we jaw well. It has to be flexing the muscle and understanding what it really takes. So let's get along. We can't stop undermining this. This is just the beginning. Winning and winning and winning. 